Well, hello, everyone. I'm Kathy Powers, the superintendent with Twinsburg City School District. We are so excited to share with you a wonderful thing that members of our student body and their amazing music teacher have been doing while our school district has been closed due to COVID-19. So I'd like to introduce to you, um, first of all, Mrs. Ozzie, welcome to our, our little clip here today. And we have Hannah Moliano, who is a senior at Twinsburg High School. And we have Reagan Altenkrip, who is a senior at Twinsburg High School. And we have Luke McElroy, and we have Josh McElroy, who are students at um, George G. Dodge Intermediate School and Samuel Bissell Elementary School. And we are so delighted that you're here because you have a great story to share with our community about Children of the World United. So, Miss Ozzy, can you provide for our audience the story behind this beautiful song and how it came to be? Well, the story, first of all, it wasn't a real plan to begin with. And <laughs> it's just a bunch of me and uh, my student and I, we're trying to uh, go around and learn how to compose a little eight bars uh, pieces during this uh, outbreak. And I sent everybody home. I said, you know what? Uh, I've been getting emails, texts from your parents say, hey, keep giving my kids work. And uh, and I came with the idea, how about we do um, uh, eight bars composition, something that related to COVID-19. And I have students came with different different ideas like toilet paper rush uh <laughs> so something is chasing me and from then and i look i just ch chuckle love oh this is cute and then i have my adult student karen who's uh, responsible for the lyrics i said i told karen karen can you come up with the lyrics so i can pass it on to my student because i'm not good at writing lyrics so she came to me with a few bunch a couple of it and uh, i started looking i said this has deeper meaning. It's not for my seven, eight years, nine years. They can run with their toilet papers <laughs> kind of melodies. And uh, I said, I think this has much deeper that can reach out better, you know, with the, uh, trying putting the melody together. So after my lesson and on Wednesday, uh, I think I finished by 8.30 and I had my dinner with my husband and nine o'clock, I started fiddle around on my piano and then the melody start to come out from me and I asked Karen again, give me more words, give me more words. Cause I'm the person when I compose something, I compose based on lyrics. You can compose anywhere, yeah? So when it come with the melody and the lyrics and the meaning uh, in one phrase, it comes the melody. And you know, when the right call comes, I just feel right about what I have, my melody and the lyrics and then I kept going until 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> and uh, that was the first stage. And then the next day I kept going again until three o'clock. And then after the, then the next morning on Friday, I called my dear friend James, which who is my producer. I said, James, you wanna hear something? And I said, what, bring it on. So I, I hum it and I play it. I said, I think this can go very far. It can help the children. It can help everybody to cope with this song. And I, I got this goosebumps myself, I said. <laughs> and um, so James heard it, and that was it. And James said, um, yes, I'm in. Do it now. Do it quick. That was his line. So how did you line it up so that each of the students that are featured in, in, the, in the video had a part. They're all your students, right? Or have been your students. Correct. I And when James said, do it now, do it quick. And I act quick calling all my uh, current and former students say, hey, would you like would you like to help me? And everybody to make a little move. I call them, you know, when you talk to a little kid, a little movie, <laughs> a little <laughs> video. So would you like to sing it for me or take a picture when you're doing your composition or playing your piano because that we can tell everybody you know we we keep moving on and we keep continue our learning we come we come to lesson but through skype that's what i use and um do the right thing for ourselves then on the right thing now we're going to make a video uh and we're going to sing it and do the right thing for the community and the community can go not just for twinsburg so that's why um and then when everybody said it, okay, I'm good. So that's when I make the demo 
and James and I did the demo and uh, contacted Reagan and said, Reagan, would you mind lending your beautiful voice uh, so that I can start teaching to the kids? We only have window, maybe two or three days. Because so, we want this. So you went first to Reagan and then Re what did you think, Reagan, when Miss Ozzy called you and said, hey, we're doing this song? What well, do you think? I, rem I remember it being in the morning. I was in my pajamas and I got a FaceTime call from Miss Ozzy and she said, listen to this. I've got this beautiful song. It's about quarantine, the coronavirus, and I want to give hope to a bunch of people. And I listened to it and I was like, well, wow, this is, it's beautiful. And I thought it could reach a bunch of people. And I agreed right away. So I got to work. I was in my sweatpants. <laughs> I took the video. I had the big gamer headset on and I sang and then when she sent me the video of it all put together me and my mom were in tears because of how beautiful it was all of her students and all these kids singing together and giving hope to our community so I was very impressed and very inspired to help with this video right. thank you and, and Hannah I know that when the video starts you see Reagan begin the song, but then you see uh, your brother Nate and you sit at the piano and you actually begin the musical part of it. Um, what did that feel like having that opportunity to strike that first chord? It was a great experience, especially since my brother, um, I don't really get to see him that often in university. So this was something that we could do together and sit at the piano bench together after a couple months of not seeing each other as often. And just starting the chord, Miss Ozzy sent me a video and she's like, okay, try this out. Try these three notes out. <laughs> and it was so, like, they sounded so good together. And it was really great just to start playing and being a part of the song. And you have been uh, a student of Miss Ozzy for many years. Yeah, it's been 12 years. I started when I was six years old. So Miss Ozzy has not only been a piano teacher to me, but she's really been a mentor and someone that I'm inspired by and will surely miss after I graduate. Well, if I know you, you stay connected with Miss Ozzy. It seems to be that's what happened here. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> well, Josh and Luke, um, I am so inspired by having both of you here today and seeing your parts in the video. Uh, what did you think about the project and why did you want to do it? I thought that I felt good that I was a part of it and I was happy that she chose me to sing along in it and I enjoyed doing it and I felt when I sang it I knew that kids were would see it and to be inspired forget about it I saw that I was like, ooh, once she said that we we're going to be singing and being on the news, I was very surprised. So I was like, sure, I'll do it. So then I started, I did it, and I started to help write the notes with Josh, and we made us, we put notes in, and then it was in the second part. So we kept doing it, and then she, you, we, we mixed all the notes together, and then now we have the song, and we're all singing it, and it's on the news from... Around a bunch the of world. countries, we're all just listening. If you spread it, like being spread it, it's like famous, kind of. Right. It is so. It's it's getting everywhere. I hear. Um, Miss Azzy, can you share with our audience how many countries are enjoying this beautiful song? Well, as as for now, I have about 31, uh, 31 countries um, that uh, I either myself or the parents share the video uh, uh, through friends that live in those countries of relatives or anybody, you know. So, uh, thirty one countries so far, and back here is the um, world map. I don't know what it is. You can see it. There's a world map, and then there's a United States map, and I got it from my former student because you just ask because you don't <laughs> go to the grocery uh, to stores right now. So I said, hey, do you have a world map? And that's from Nathan. And then that's from Reagan. And I put all heart shapes, all the countries where the voice, the video being shared, meaning the voices, the message have been shared. That's yes. amazing.
You know, guys, uh, we talk in our school district a lot about giving back and about community service. And I really think this is a, a, a wonderful example of sharing your talent in such an, a unique way with not only the residents of our wonderful school community, but now throughout the nation and my goodness, throughout the, the entire world. And I think that that is, that is remarkable. Do you have any thoughts you want to share about the importance of the project that you did and, and how, do, how does that make you feel? Are you Absolutely. questioning me? Um, um, that's a very good question. I honestly, it just makes me feel warm in my heart and very good that I can spread such a hopeful message to people who are very scared right now and people who have sick relatives, people who have um, relatives in the hospital. I, I'm just very glad that I've been able to spread hope to these people and to show that this is going to end at some point and we are going to be okay as long as we listen to what the smart people, to what the doctors are saying and stay in our houses, um, it will all be okay. And I'm happy that we were able to show it through um, such a beautiful art form through this song. I totally agree. Any other comments, guys? Yeah, I think it's all about uniting the community and that's the service part of it. And even within the studio, you have people from all ages, from the littlest kids to like us seniors who are graduating former students, adult students, and then just people in the community. I know Miss Ozzie reached out to the fire department and Chief Basso, and it's just been amazing to bring all of these people together in such a time where we're physically distancing, but not really emotionally and in our hearts. Josh and Luke, any final comments about how does this make you feel that you're part of such a huge effort, this beautiful song? Um, yes, we do. I feel that we're all in this together and we should never give up because even though this is right now, we don't need to give up about it and stay positive and to help each other through the sickness and to um, help each other. Right. I think that we should we should start helping a lot of people and tell them to just don't get worried. Nothing's gonna happen. Stay calm and don't like get so worried. Don't like go overwhelmed or say any mad things or don't like start doing things and things with men because otherwise bad things can happen just stay calm and keep doing things that are suppo you're supposed to do and don't just keep doing like mean like weird things don't like do keep positive and do all good things just keep <clears throat> doing things that you're supposed to do make just the like right the choices song. right mm -hmm. just like the song right. say keep on going do the right thing keep on going so the right thing is like listen to your parents that's the first thing don't go out be six feet apart or with you with strangers because obviously you guys not six feet apart that right there in that room but we are family but when it comes to strangers you're gonna have to go like that just just to be cautious yeah so uh that's why and uh, my uh, maybe someday um, i'll introduce you for the person behind the song who also wrote the powerful li li lyrics and uh, um, she can explain that and again it was uh when i put the lyrics together it was a bunch bunch kind of uh, lyrics different in part so i kind of work around it and then with the with the melody that i compose it has to progress with the lyric so there you go and then uh, Reagan executed beautifully. And I've been telling her, when you sing consonant, pay attention on that. And when you express, when you sing, you just pronounce one word. One word is a powerful word. It matters when you sing. Right. Well, truly, I want to say what you have done is a gift for not only us here in our community, but for the nation and the world. I am so 
Um, proud of every one of you. And Miss Ozzy, it's been such a pleasure meeting you and learning a little bit about you. you, our piano teacher, and your gift to your students, your gift to our community. And um, at this time, I know that we're going to play the video so that everyone will get to enjoy this beautiful song, Children of the World Uniting. is uniting to help us cope. Many are fighting to give us hope. Let our love continue its glowing. Be happy, stay healthy. 